I'd like to talk about uh, kyphoplasty and vertebroplasty. These are minimally invasive procedures to treat uh, compression fractures of the vertebral body, either by most commonly osteoporosis, but also by trauma and uh, bone cancer. What uh, the interventional procedure entails is gaining access into the vertebral body, which is the main column of the vertebra, which has compressed due to one of those conditions. You access the vertebra with a trocar, and a vertebroplasty is the injection of bone cement to treat the fracture, like medical caulk. And the kyphoplasty is a procedure where you take a, a balloon catheter, enter the vertebral body the same way, and blow up a balloon and create a cavity. And then the cavity that you create in the vertebral body with the balloon is uh, filled with the bone cement and shoring up the fracture. Now, the vertebral body fracture or uh, compression fracture of the spine is a diagnosis that's first made when the patient presents to their uh, provider with severe back pain. And then the, the provider will determine with a medical exam the need for further diagnostic testing. Usually an MRI, but it can be a CT or bone scan or a combination of these studies to document the level and the acuity of the fracture. Once a fracture is identified, the patient is referred to an interventionalist for the treatment of the compression fracture. Uh, after the treatment is assured by imaging, uh, the patient will go to recovery, and uh, after they uh, recover from the anesthetic, then what we expect is a, a relief of the pain caused by the fracture. So uh, immediate relief of pain, maybe not total elimination of the pain, but some relief. And then over the next two days, we expect improvement in the pain, and we expect our patients to regain their normal pre-fracture -pre activity. Um, so this treatment, although minimally invasive, can get the patient with a compression fracture immediate or near immediate relief and back in the active game.